Here's one of my favorite things that I've figured out lately. We've talked about keeping your navigation at, at the top of the browser. We've talked about pinning your navigation to the top of the browser, but you don't always want to pin it where it is. If we were to use the pin feature, this navigation here would stay in the middle of the screen and I would have a gap between it and the top of the screen. So what I'm going to show you guys how to do right now is get the navigation to scroll up, but then stick to the top of the browser so it continues to stay at the top as we scroll down. And if I scroll back up, it gets dropped back off at the nav bar. This is easier than it looks. I'm going to go into my little demo project here. I believe it's this one, our sticky navigation project. You do want to make sure also that your navigation is on a higher layer using the layers palette here. Uh, I've got my navigation on layer two. Everything else is on layer one. This ensures that the navigation ends up staying on top. Uh, I have a tutorial video all about that that you guys could check out. Uh, but what we're going to do here, we're actually going to use the parallax scrolling in Adobe Muse CC to tell it to scroll at a normal speed and then when it reaches the key position to stop scrolling and scroll looks like I have to go to the gym in 30 minutes to stop scrolling as soon as it gets to the top of the browser and to freeze in place. So I'm going to select this. This is our navigation bar here. Uh, unfortunately, I can't do it to this rectangle because it's a 100% page width object, and you can't do parallax scrolling on 100% page width objects, so I'm going to leave that be. So I've got my navigation selected. I'm going to go up to Effects on my toolbar. I'm going to turn on Scroll Motion. And now there are a couple important things that need to be set here. Uh, one, this little link needs to be broken because I need it to start by scrolling at a speed of 1. That's a normal speed. Uh, zero sideways speed that's important and then after it reaches the key position I need it to freeze so I'm gonna change that to a zero so once I've got those settings locked in there I wanna close this and I wanna grab this little guy this is the key position this actually determines exactly how far from the top the navigation is going to freeze so I'm gonna drag it down until it butts against the top of our navigation here that's gonna say object top zero pixels that means when it's zero pixels from the top it will stop scrolling so let's preview it in the browser so it's scrolling at its normal speed of one and now that we've reached zero pixels from the top it freezes and it stays at the top of the browser that's looking good if you ask me and we get that logo out of the way because honestly if we froze this whole header it would take up a lot of space it would take away from the user's experience especially on a small laptop screen so if you guys like this, stay tuned. Please subscribe. I've got more just like this coming soon.